Hey guys, it's Lee, and I'm back today with another Timu haul for you. I do want to let you know up front that Timu is sponsoring this video, and they did send me these items in exchange for this review and unboxing video, although I did get to pick them out. So if you haven't heard of Timu, they are an online marketplace that has pretty much everything um, from clothing to household items, kitchen items, decor, sports and acti sports and outside activities, uh, you name it, they probably have it and all at affordable prices. They currently have their summer sale going on right now where you can save up to 90%. Also, I will have a code that I'll put across the screen right now. When you put that code in the search engine of the Timu app, you will get coupons totaling up to $100. So let me move this box and I will show you everything I got this time. I will be putting the prices on the screen and there will be links down in the description box below as well. The first item I got is another of the Stanley dupes. And this one, the box down, came with the, um, I don't know if it's waterproof, but spill proof lid on it and I did buy some of these for my other Stanley mugs in my teeny tiny Timu haul. So yeah, I bought, hold on, I'm trying to get the straw out. I bought one in, I don't remember the color, but I liked it, Just it's just plain. But it has an X in the rubber here to put your straw in so that it doesn't spill, I guess. Here is, a, sorry about the lawnmower going. To clean these tops, you can just squeeze that, take it out, and clean it all really well. So the next item I got is this. It's a makeup brush caddy or a pen caddy. I'm using it for pens. And the top of it says, may the world be gentle to you. That's, a, that's good, I could use that. So the top goes on it like this. It's on a Lazy Susan and it has lots of compartments for your pens, pencils, and makeup brushes. I just thought it was really cute and it's a good way to keep your pens organized on your desk. Next, I got a pickle keeper. These are so cool. So you put your whole jar of pickles in and then you flip it over and you can just get to your pickles without the juice. I'm gonna go ahead and wash this out and I'm gonna put a jar of pickles in here. All right, I washed it out. I got Mount Olive Sweet Petites Best Pickles Ever. Pour those in. Actually, I'm gonna have one. I'm gonna put the lid on. Make sure it's on securely. So when it's sitting like this with the big part on the top, it makes it easier to get your pickles. And then when you do it like this, your pickles are in their juice. This is so cool. I've been wanting one of these for so long. So next I got this 12 pack of Russian, Russian piping tips. Hang on, let me open these. And it comes with lots of stuff. <laughs> so it comes with a reusable piping bag, some disposable piping bags, The couplers and oh it also comes with a leaf tip a couple of leaf tips all right all right so these are cool because they're the ones that have the fancy flowers in them so when you squeeze down you get a flower I don't have any frosting to demonstrate them right now um, but maybe in an upcoming video we'll see when I get back from Ireland the rose all kinds of pretty designs and I'm so excited to get these and try them out. I used to be the cupcake maker for the family, my husband's family, well mine too in some instances, but anyway, now I am uh, not. It's been passed on to the next generation and I just make them every now and then if someone needs them for whatever. So I still love having all the supplies so that I'm ready if I need to make something. Love these, these are so cool. I can't wait to try them. Next, I picked up this 
window cling. I'm gonna have to put a picture of this on the screen because I'm not gonna unroll it right now, but it's really pretty. It looks like stained glass. And I got this, I have a couple of windows. I'm deciding which ones I wanna put it on. Uh, it comes with plenty on here, so I could probably do several windows. I was thinking maybe my office, but also I really like looking out that window. So it depends how transparent it is. When I open it up, I'll figure that out. But I thought this was really cool. Sorry, I'm not gonna open it and show you, but the picture's on the screen. So then I wanted a little rug to put um, at the entrance of the cat litter box, and I couldn't think of anything better than this. Look at that. Isn't that perfect for the cat litter box? It's a little thin, um, but it is non-stick on the back or non-skid, so that would be really nice. And I will put the opening of the litter box like right here, so that way Lucy doesn't track litter throughout the house. I thought it was super adorable. So next I got this rug, which is bigger. It is a, like a, I can't remember the size. I'll put it on the screen. I thought it was really pretty. I'm going to go put it on the floor in the family room and take a picture of it and put it on the screen so you can see it. It's non-skid on the back as well. Um, and this is for either my office or our daughter's room, probably my office. Uh, anywhere the chihuahuas aren't allowed to go, this can go in because as soon as they see a rug, they pee on it. So I'm going to go lay it out and take a quick picture before they see it. Okay, they're not that bad. But I'm going to go take a quick picture of it so you can see what it looks like all laid out. Here's the rug. I really like it. It uh, needs some time to flatten out, but it's perfect. Or it's the perfect size for my office. So I think that's where this is going to end up. The next item I picked up is this wake-up alarm clock. Uh, my daughter has one in Ireland. But um, once she comes home, I thought she might like to have one here as well. So I got this for her, for her room. Let me open it up and then I'll show you what it's like. It has a huge manual of, ah, because it's in different languages. Like, why is the manual so big? So this thing's actually pretty cool. So of course you can set the time. Um, and it, you can display the brightness. It has an alarm clock, alarm ringtone, alarm volume, wake up light brightness setting, simulated sunrise time setting, snooze function sleep mode, sleep music setting, volume setting, and it has rain, forest, or river sounds. So let's go ahead and just turn it on so you can hear some of the sounds and then watch it light up. I think it was this one. Can you hear it? Sounds like rain. Oops, I hit the tripod. And you can turn it back off. So I think she's really gonna like this. Um, I'm going to leave it and the manual in her room and let her figure it all out. But yeah, I thought this was really cool. And I, like I said, I know she has one already in Ireland, so I thought she might want one here. Next, I picked up one of these personal blenders. I've seen them, everybody gets them, and I hadn't gotten one yet, so I, I just, I caved and I got one. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. It came in blue. Does this have any power? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me take this out before I check it to see if it has power. Yeah, it does have power in it already. So a lot of their stuff's co stuff comes charged. Um, it does come with a micro USB charging cable, which is nice because we always have those kind of cables around. So if I lost this one, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. I don't know what I can put in here. Let me wash it out and let me see what's in the freezer that I can blend up real quick. All right, so I put some milk, a banana, and some frozen strawberries in here. Oh, the battery's dying. Oh no. Hold on, let me plug it in. Will it work while it's being charged? 
No, I'll be back when it's charged. So while that's charging, let's move on. Um, so next I got this two, sorry, bag hangers. You just put your bags and um, purses and stuff across here and hang them in your closet. In a previous haul, I had gotten a different version, um, but I thought these were really cool too. So I picked up two of these. I have lots of bags, so these will come in very handy. Next, I picked up a hair dryer hanger. <laughs> so I can put this inside my cabinet door. It comes with the stick on pieces. And I'm gonna put this in the cabinet, inside the cabinet door, and then I can just hang my hair dryer from here. Um, I think that's how it goes. Yeah, I think so. I think that's how it goes. And then you can put other stuff up here. Yeah, so I just thought it would be nice to have a place to store my hair dryer rather than just throwing it under the bathroom sink. So I got that. And then I picked up this boho light in a previous haul. Let me get it out of the packaging here. So in a previous haul, I got one of these and I liked it so much and I thought my daughter might like one. So I got this one. Let me go grab a block so I can plug this in. And this is what it looks like when it's plugged in. Let me turn off the light. I love the design it shows along the back of the wall. It's so pretty. I have mine in the family room, so I thought she might like one in her room. And then the last item I picked up for this haul, sorry the Greyhound's up walking around, is this robot vacuum cleaner. So it's supposed to clean, the box is empty. It's supposed to clean and mop. I have charged it a little bit. I thought it was charging, but um, it was unplugged, so I don't know how long it was actually charging, but we're going to try it. Well, I'm going to try it on the vacuum mode. Sorry. The, the Greyhound wants me to take him for a walk, so I need to finish this quickly, and then I'll take him. Anyway, it comes with, on the bottom, there is a duster, like a, I'll just show you. Excuse the dog hair that's on it, but this piece, you attach this and it is like a little duster on the bottom. I did just see if it would go. So that's why there's dog hair because we have, well, pet hair. We have three dogs and a long-haired cat. Two long-haired dogs, long-haired cat, short-haired dog, a lot of animals. It also comes with a cleaning brush that I threw on the floor, a cleaning brush, a little screwdriver. This is the mopping piece. You put water in it. Here's the little funnel to put water in. Um, that attaches, I don't know where, somewhere on here. That attaches on the back actually. So what I'm going to do is take this over to the family room, which I have not swept, so no judgment. This is real life. <laughs> we have a bunch of animals. So I'm going to go kind of let it run around over there and show you also, you download an app that controls it. So let's go over to the family room and check this out. So the first thing you have to do is turn it on. And then here is the app. I'm hoping you can see it on the camera. So it's already on, I guess. <whistles> okay. And then you can, oops, I turned it back off actually. Turn it off. Let's see what it does. Cool, it's actually picking up stuff too. I'm not sure how well it's showing up on camera, but. Well, it went over the tile just fine. So let's turn him back on for a second. Fixed point, extend way. I don't know what any of these mean yet. Let's see what fixed point, I have to read the manual, but might help if I let you see him. 
I don't know what it's doing. I have to look it up. I love this. This one I think is gonna go upstairs. I have another one I can use down here. Oops, here comes a chihuahua. So, where are you, Eve? Can't really see her. Uh, they don't like these, they're afraid of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. And I think that's really cool. All right, this only got to charge for a few minutes, so hopefully that's enough to make it work. Yes, almost. Um, this does is not charged all the way. Oh, it already died. I don't have time to let it charge all the way right now, but I think it'll work just fine. You just need to let it charge. Oh, there's a little more power. Yeah, it needs a little more juice. So I'm gonna let that charge up all the way and try again later. All right, so that's everything I got in my Timu haul this time around. If you are interested in any of these products, I will have them linked down below in the description box. Don't forget to use my coupon code across the screen right now. And to use this code, you need to put it in the search engine of the app and it will get you a total of $100 worth of coupons. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. You can also find me over on Instagram and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.